What's up, guys? This is Dr. Michael Coe from MovementIQMike.com. And what I want to do is do a quick little product view of the Sewrite. So I just got this in the mail recently. Got it in blue, which is my favorite color. And um, so I just want to describe things about what I like about this product, things I don't like about this product. All right. So the reason why this is called the Sewrite, right, is going to be, it's, I would imagine, its initial design was to be able to hit the psoas major muscle. Now, why is that important? So if uh, you think about back pain, everyone goes like, all right, I have low back pain. It hurts back here. So I got to do all the stuff back here because this is where I feel the pain. And so if you're a good clinician, uh, you're not looking at the area of where it hurts. You're looking at trying to find the source of the pain to be able to have less pain in that, in that uh, area. So a lot of times uh, back pain is a little tricky because you have a, different, a lot of different body parts that refer pain to the lumbar spine. That includes the lumbar spine, includes the uh, sacroiliac joint, includes the hip, uh, and then there's all the other muscles. So one sneaky muscle that to me is actually very important in terms of trying to address low back pain specifically is the psoas major muscle. But it's really hard to hit. So um, when I use uh, my manual techniques to hurt, uh, work on patients, what I do is I usually uh, end up using my fingers and I kind of dig in into someone's stomach in a vertical fashion to be able to get through to the psoas major. And what makes it difficult about getting to the psoas major is that first you have to get through the, uh, you have to go through the stomach to be able to hit it. And if you're gonna hit through it, you gotta go through nice and gentle uh, to the tissues of the skin. You get, then you got the abdominal fat layers, then you gotta go through the abdominal muscles. Then you have all those visceral organs that go through it, depending on which, uh, which part of the psoas you hit, you're probably gonna hit a lot of it, small intestine, maybe a little large intestine. Um, and so what you have to do is you have to like kind of wiggle your way into all through that, then you can get to the psoas major muscle. And what I just said right now is actually somewhat controversial. Some therapists don't believe you can really actually hit the psoas major muscle. I personally think you can, uh, cause I do it on pretty much every single one of my low back patients. So if I have a patient that comes in with lumbar spine, there's certain spots I hit no matter what. And so one of those spots is the psoas major. Uh, other spots I usually work on, it's going to be the so the uh, sacral iliac joint, and I work on their hips along with their lumbar spine. But you know what? Tell you the truth, I actually might even hit the psoas, the sacral iliac joint, and the hips. I might even test their lumbar spine because there's a good chance that they'll feel a lot better afterwards. But to me, the psoas major is a key muscle that I'd be able to address lumbar spine. Even though it's in the front, uh, you got to think about there's muscles surrounding the lumbar spine in 360 degree fashion. So you got to hit whatever muscles are restricted. And that's one of those key muscles to me that really helps release lumbar spine mobility. But also at the same time, those muscles, uh, I'm going to consider the psoas major a core muscle. So if I can get those muscles to relax, to move around a little bit better, you'll get lum better lumbar motion. But also, I'm going to say you're going to get a better core response and be able to protect that lumbar spine so you don't have future back pain um, because you have better control and be able to protect yourself a little better. So in regards to the psoas, uh, so right, what I like about it, if you looked at what I did with my hands, I usually go like this into a, a patient's abdominal. So this is similar to this orientation. In the fact, yes, it is wide, it's round, but at the same time, this plastic is very hard. So you can be able to sit, lie down on, on top of this so right, and then you can actually really sink in those these points into getting past the abdominal fat layers, the abdominal muscles, the, the intestines, and really try to sink into getting into that uh, that muscle. And it's hard to do unless someone else is doing it on you. And there's not a lot of products out on the market that can really do this. Uh, I have seen other people online try to use like a kettlebell or kettlebell handle. Um, that's good and all. The only issue I have with that is that the sheer amount of weight that you might be able to use with a kettlebell sometimes, I think it's a little bit rough. Whereas if you're lying down on this, you can control the amount of pressure you put your body weight onto the product. So I think that's also beneficial. Just to make sure that not only do you uh, address the psoas muscular uh, tightness, but you also don't hurt yourself at the same time. Uh, I've also seen people use like a Unimoneval, which is fine too. But the only thing with the Unimoneval is that it's not pointing like this. So it's hard to really get that Unimoneval deep into the abdomen, deep enough to be able to get into the psoas. Now, I'm not going to say that you know, that doesn't affect the psoas, but I feel like this can get to this a little bit better. Now, cons about this is that I'm going to say that not everyone's psoas 
is going to match these points where that is. So for instance, like I'm five foot six, right? I'm, I'm a small guy. Uh, I'm going to say my psoas is not this far apart. I think they're a little bit more narrower. So when I actually use a psoas, I actually use one side at a time, not both together. But that's just my own personal opinion on that. Uh, so depending on your size, either you might this might be too big or this might be too small. Um, now it is sturdy, but that would be kind of awesome if I was able to change the width of this. But that's not my that's not my goal. So so for in terms of using the psoas, though, I don't really see any other products that on the market that do a better job than get the psoas here. So I'm a big fan of this. I think it'll actually be beneficial. I think it'll help a lot of people with their addressing low back pain and the secret muscle that a lot of um, other products don't really address is this whole, you know, how well does the psoas major uh, uh, move to be able to get you to feel better? So what I would say, suggest is go ahead and try it out because uh, I'm also a big fan of versatile tools. Tools. So even though it's called the psoas and is addressing the psoas major uh, muscle, you can still use this on a lot of different muscles too. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is uh, on this page in this channel, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you different movements and different ways to be able to address uh your body impairments using the cell right so guys if you're uh interested in purchasing the cell right go ahead and uh, look into the comments over my uh, video i'm going to be providing an amazon link it's gonna be an affiliate link i do get a commission if you use a link but it helped me build to make more videos like this and also check out the channel too subscribe uh and see what else we can do and what kind of magic we can create with the cell right thanks a lot guys